Hey there, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware, and this is the Lenovo LeVZ360 notebook. There are actually two models of the machine, the LeVZ360 that you see here with fully articulating hinges that weighs just 2.04 pounds, and the standard LeVZ without articulating hinges, with standard hinges, that weighs a crazy light 1.87 pounds. Lenovo was able to achieve these feather light stats by utilizing a special magnesium lithium composite construction in the body of the machine that feels so ridiculously light. It's like there's nothing inside the chassis. That light weight does tend to fool your senses and do a lesser quality feel, to be honest, but in reality, the build quality is still pretty solid with this machine, with a few caveats. The LeVZ360 that we tested is based on an Intel Core i7-5500U dual-core processor with hyper-threading that tops out at 3 GHz. It's also backed by 8 GB of DDR3-1600 RAM, and our machine came with a 256 GB M2 solid state drive. Also on board is 802.11ac Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4, two USB 3 ports, an HDMI output port, an SD card reader, a 720p HD webcam, and a combo headphone and mic jack. The display in the LeVZ360 is a 13.3 inch multi-touch capable WQHD panel with a 2560 by 1440 resolution and anti-glare coating. Its bezel does project a bit of reflection and shine, and the panel's anti-glare coating doesn't handle reflections as well as a true matte panel, but it's better than most in this regard. However, the display could offer a bit more brightness, and I also found myself hitting the brightness button more often as well. That said, the, overall, the LeVZ's display gets the job done relatively well. It's just not as standout as some of the machines in this price range. Speaking of which, the model we tested retails for $16.99, which might seem a bit steep, though it does include that higher-end Core i7 CPU that I noted earlier as well as 8 gig of RAM and a 256 gig fast M2 SATA SSD. It's a strong setup and out of the box it boots its Windows 8 desktop in just 6 seconds. Unfortunately, the keyboard of the LeVZ doesn't quite live up to the quality experience you'll find on most Lenovo machines these days. Its chiclet style keycaps are square and flat, not contoured as we found on so many Lenovo notebooks before, and key travel is shallow. In addition, the right side shift and backspace keys are unusually small and definitely take a bit of getting used to. The LeVZ's trackpad is spacious, however, and it's responsive with good accidental palm strike rejection. On the left side, you'll find a nice assortment of ports, including a Kensington lock port, a power port, three status indicator lights for various functions like caps lock and battery indicator, as well as a power button and volume rocker. On the right side, there's a 2-in-1 audio jack, an SD card slot, two USB 3 ports, and a full-size HDMI output port. On the rear edge, you'll find some venting, and in the case of the LeVZ360 model, Lenovo's full swing hinge mechanism that feels a little firm, likely in part due to the contrast of how light the machine is versus the actual force it takes to swing the lid open, which isn't much, but then again, the LeVZ is silly light. Performance-wise, the LeVZ is responsive and very nimble. In fact, it's one of the fastest machines we've ever tested in its flyweight weight class. The SSD on board the model we tested is a 256 gigabyte Samsung M2 drive, and it offers a stout 500 plus megabytes per second of throughput. It definitely puts a spring in the LeVZ step, and it's why, combined with its Core i7 processor, this machine puts up some of the best PC Mark 8 scores we've seen from an Ultrabook yet. Battery life, on the other hand, takes a bit of a hit with the machine's higher clocked processor, though we did manage roughly 5 hours and 45 minutes of untethered uptime in a light duty web browsing test. All told, the Lenovo LeVZ360 is an interesting interesting beast. It's almost unbelievably light and very fast, which is a potent combination for anyone looking for a daily workhorse or a traveling companion. Its display, though a bit on the darker side, is pretty nice and the versatility you can muster from its fully articulating hinges and tablet or kiosk mode could come in handy. That said, the LeVZ's keyboard layout is a bit tricky to master at first, with small shift and backspace keys on the right side and an overall typing experience that left us a little flat. For an MSRP of $16.99 for the LeVZ360 with its full swing hinges and $14.99 for the standard model, you get a lot of performance and capability, but not quite the sturdy build we've come to expect from previous Lenovo machines. Perhaps it's due to its ultralight magnesium lithium composite casing, but the Lenovo LeVZ may take a little getting used to for some. 
For others, there's no question. This machine packs a ton of horsepower in what is likely the lightest 13-inch notebook you'll have ever laid hands on thus far. That alone is worthy of praise when you stop to think about it. But make sure you stop by hothardware.com for our full review with all the benchmark data and our analysis. And thumb up this video if you're so inclined and subscribe to us here for more great hot tech product review goodness, event coverage, and our two and a half geeks webcast. I'm Dave Altavilla for hothardware.com and you just checked out the Lenovo LeVZ 360 notebook. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs>